So in this lab session, we're going to be doing troubleshooting a uh, connectivity. First of all, we're going to use ping to test connectivity from PC1 to PC3. And I've already loaded up the lab over here in Packet Tracer. Um, so if you go on PC1, which is over here, uh, we're also going to be referring back to the lab topology, which I'll have on the side. So. If we go to command prompt and we ping our well PC3, which is 10.1.2.10. So we can see the ping is really going through. So we get a destination destination host unreachable. So the next question is to, well, it says to use trace route to determine where the problem is likely to be. So if we do trace route, so trace RT in Windows, um, then we do 10.1.2.10. And if we have a look at the lab topology, we can see it gets up to, okay, still doing this thing. Okay, so we can see it gets to the 10.1.0.1 before the packet gets dropped. So the 10.1.0.1 is at R3 on the fast ethernet zero slash one interface so the problem could be on r3 then since the packet is unable to get out of the other side of the network 10.1.1.2 possibly so let's investigate well let's see the next question it says to determine the issue and fix it to restore connectivity between pc1 and pc3 so we're going to go ahead and do that so 10.1.0.1 is my focus which is r3 so first of all i'm just gonna i just want to do a show ip interface 3 and i can see that both of the interfaces are up 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 as well so i know everything is good in terms of like the duplex settings um say everything is good on the cable and the interface is good so let's do a show ip router set and let's see the if it's got a route so you can see that 10.1.1.2 where is that okay I see that 10.1.1.2 is a direct link going to R4 and I'm just going to open up R4 I'm just going to do a quick check up on this as well I'm just going to do a show IP interface brief I can see everything is up and good. Uh, a quick show IP route as well. Just gonna check back on here. So yeah, my main focus is definitely R3. And since it's good on the interfaces, everything is up up. Um, my next focus is the IP route. Because it's saying destination host unreachable. So it's able to relay that. So let's have a look. So we got the 10.0.0.0, which is over here. We got 10.1.0.2, which is over here. But then we don't. Oh yeah, we have our direct link over here, 10.1.1.0, which is here. We've got 10.1.3.0, which is here. 
which is this network down here. What about the 10.1.2.0? I think that could be the issue right there. So I'm looking at the lab topology right now, and I was just verifying it has all the routes, except it doesn't have this route over here, which is the link going towards PC3 from R4, which is the 10.1.2.0 network. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a static route and see if that works. But also, I want to check the other routers if they have the 10.1.2.0 network. So I'm just going to do a quick show IP route over here. Yeah, this one has a link to 10.1.2.0. What about you, bud? That has 10.1.2.0. And I'm just going to check R4. That has a link to, of course, it's a direct connection. So then that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go into global config and I'm going to do IP route 10.1.2.0 at 255. I believe we should be using a slash 24 subnet. So 255.255.255.0 and we are going via this interface here which is 10.1.1.1. Let me just make sure that's correct, yeah. And now I'm just gonna do a show IP route. And as you can see now, we have a static route going to 10.1.2.0 via 10.1.1.1, which is over here. And the 10.1.2.0 is this network here. So this is the LUT topology. So this is what I've done, the 10.1.2.0 network, go into PC3, and we have the 10.1.1.1, which is this interface on R4, which is fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. So I'm going to go ahead and try and do a ping again. Um, let's try to do a trace route. I think that might be better. And you can see if the, where about the packet gets dropped. Okay, so we get a trace complete, so we should be able to ping PC3, which we do. Thanks for watching.